So the first part of Teams that we're going to look at is the Conversations tab. So this is a place where you can have a communication with the students. Everybody can contribute, both staff and students, to the discussion. So you can type in your messages in the box at the bottom. So I can just type in hello and everybody can see that message and they can reply back to that thread. And that includes students as well. Now you can mention students here using the at symbol. So I can use the at symbol and I can mention an individual student. So I can mention Susan and just say, you know, great work today. And everybody will see that, but because I've mentioned Susan, she will get an instant notification on her phone or tablet if she's got the app installed. If she hasn't got the app installed, she'll get an email within two hours with a link to say she's got a missed uh, message inside Teams. I can actually do that for the entire class. So I can actually mention uh, the entire class in here by name, homework due tomorrow. And the entire class will get a notification because I mentioned the whole group. So they'll all see that. You may want to use this to communicate with students. Students may collaborate together in the class as well. What you might find is that some students in the class who might not put their hands up, maybe they're too shy or they're anxious to speak in front of the whole group. It's much easier to engage them on this platform in terms of group conversations. They have a bit of time to write their messages. Um, they can think about what they're going to say. They don't need to worry about standing up in front of the class or what people think of their voice when they speak. Um, so it will include those children that may be a bit invisible in the classroom. You know, they, they're, they're, they're may be well behaved, but they don't necessarily put their hands up um, in class in those discussions, even if they know the answer. So this is another way to communicate with those students and include them in those group discussions. Now, in some cases, you may need to mute the conversations, either individual students or maybe you just want to focus the entire group on something that you're doing. You just want to turn off the conversations. You can do that by clicking on the title of the team, opening up members and guests and either muting an individual student or muting the entire class. And that would just turn off the conversation uh, threads for them. They can still see them. They just can't add to them or edit them. There's lots of other things you can do. You can do video conferencing in here and sharing your, your screen. Um, I'll just show you one of the things uh, that you might find useful, this praise button here. Um, so if you click on praise, I can praise individuals. I can give them a badge. So it might be Achiever. I might give it to Susan and to Alonzo. Uh, great presentation today. Preview that. This will put this nice badge in that conversation thread. Everyone can see it and Susan and Alonzo are tagged in it so they can see that I praise them for the great work that they've done in class today and that people can like that and they can respond to it. So it's a great way to communicate with your class.